a pack of 60 of these star erasers are on sale right now at the Target dollar spot. If you don't have them, you can also do these activities I'm going to show you with some star stickers. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are talking everything stars today. At the Target Dollar Spot, you may have already purchased these star racers. They were going pretty wild on Instagram. For a dollar, you get 60 little mini racers in red, red, and blue. Very patriotic. However, they are now on clearance. So go way back to the corner of Target, but far as you can see, and you'll probably find these on sale. If you can't find these, I'm also going to show you some other variations that you can do with star stickers. These also did come from the Target dollar spot. They came in a pack that had several sheets like this, but you can also get the star foil stickers at the Dollar Tree. So my first find for this activity was from this little worksheet. It's from Recipe for Teachers. I'll link this down below. It was a printable that I found, and this was really great because it matched the red, white, and blue. It was specifically made for these erasers. So you spin it with the paper clip and you land on a colored star and very easily just put in a little tally for each time you land on that star. And then you can actually record the number in the star if you wanted to. This was super cute and really easy to do as well. If you don't have the red, white, and blue stars, you can use your colored star stickers. Just cut out a circle of paper and attach one of these stickers in a little rim like this and you have a spinner and then you can record your answers on your own graph. I wanted to point out that this printable pack also came with subtracting and adding. So you would put a spinner on each one here and then you would spin and put down your stars and count them up and do your math problem. Another really simple thing is to bring out your muffin tin and to do color sorting. So this would be for the younger kids where you can kind of start it out for them and then have them fill in the buckets with each color. And like I said, I'm going to show you some variations. If you don't have those red, white, and blue stars, you can do the same thing with stickers in a sheet of paper. I just divided this paper into different boxes. You'd place one sticker in each box all the way and then you give them the sheet of stickers so that they can sort the stickers by color. Very easy to do, very compact too. You can take this anywhere with you in the car, have them do a whole sheet on your chart and they'll be busy for a really long time. Here's another printable I found from a website called A Little Pinch of Perfect. I'll link it down below as always. And this has numbered stars one through 20 all the way through. And this is great just for one-to-one -one correspondence. So if you have little ones, they can just place one star per star on the sheet like this. If you have older children, you can start by doing counting. So that's the one star, one, two, three, all the way to 20. And if you have even older kids, you can make sure that they continue a pattern all the way through till they get to 20. If you don't have these stars, guess what? You can do it too with your stickers. And this would just be placing the sticker right on the star. They fit perfectly right on there. And you can just do 20 stickers all the way through, or you can do patterns just like you do with the erasers. I really like using number cards. My girls really love doing this too. My two-year-old, oh, she's now three, you guys. She just had a birthday. My now three-year-old likes to do the Montessori-inspired activity by placing the number of stars underneath the flashcards, which is really easy to do, and you can go up as high as you'd like to. And you can also do this with stacking. So stacking them one on top of another, which is great for fine motor, just a little added thing where you stack as many as you can. And then also patterns are really fun to do with this. This is a little ice cube tray. I got this one from Ikea if you're interested in that. Um, but basically you would set up a pattern right here in the tray and all they need to do is just mimic the pattern that you've already set up. So they'd put a blue, white, red, and you can set up up to three in the tray so that it can continue and going on on the activity. This is a really good for shelf work. So there's just a few things that you can do with these really great star racers that are on sale right now at Target. You gotta run over there to see if they have them. If they don't have them, then you can definitely pull out your star stickers and work with those. And make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.